back. Hello. That was really <laughs> weird. <laughs> that was horrible. <laughs> new office space. Yeah. Uh, Claw Hammer Supply has moved into a new office. We had to fix a bunch of things and move all our stuff. It's a house up the street. We don't live together. Yeah, not together. Not that there's anything wrong. Not that there is anything wrong with that. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Not at all. <laughs> we did some remodeling and it's taken a long time. And we've also been lazy. We were enjoying the end of summer. Yeah, and uh, now fall is here. Yeah, fall is here. Um, it's gonna be uh, Thanksgiving season. Hey, before we finish this video, I just wanted to let you know that we're doing a Black Friday sale this year. 5% off small orders, 8% off medium orders, and 10% off big baller super orders. Discount codes are at the end of this video. Sale is live until the end of this week. If you wait until after this week, you missed a sale. If you wait until next year, you missed a sale. If you wait until 2025, you missed a sale by about six years, unless you're a time traveler. Go to our website right now, clawhammersupply.com. Thanks, see ya. We're starting with 7.4 gallons of water. Let's yeah. make a mess of this place. Right? Pilsner malt, nine pounds, eight ounces. One pound, four ounces of Vienna malt. 9.5 ounces of wheat malt. And 2.5 ounces of carrageenic malt. Well, uh, ready? No, oh. <laughs> not even close. <laughs> I like this morning when you're like, oh, what are you guys setting up for? <laughs> and I was like, oh, we're brewing today? And you're like, yeah, we're brewing on Wednesday. I was like, yeah, today's Wednesday. <laughs> That's the late start. Water's not heated up, nothing's ready. We haven't brewed beer in months. We'll, Take what you we'll, can get, YouTube. <laughs> but new, new space, we're gonna get back on track. Lawson's gonna quit school so he can edit our videos. <laughs> in school, don't do too many drugs. You can do some. Yeah, experiment a little bit. Don't do all of them. Yeah, at once. Stick to the classics. Booze, weed, mushrooms, the occasional bump. Sugar cereal? I mean, whatever you're into. What are we gonna do now? We just hang out? Cool. I'm gonna get more coffee. Anyone, anyone want more coffee? <laughs> A sliding shot. So we're gonna take the yeast out of the fridge. Usually I do this in the beginning of the brew day. We're about 10 minutes into the mash, I just remembered. WLP 565, white lads, two packets. Check them out. All right, 60 minute mash is finished. Gonna let this drain for five or 10 minutes. While we're waiting for that to drain, I'm gonna go ahead and get our controller on 100% of power. I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on. I like to use the hot basket as a little spacer, and that'll just keep the lid elevated a little bit. Giddy up. And maybe Kyle will come back. I don't know. He's, he's the guy that likes the Saisons. I think it'll be a good one for Thanksgiving dinner. Drink 12 of them, it really doesn't matter what you drink. So when, you get, when we're up to a boil, we'll come back, it'll be a couple minutes, and then we'll, uh, we'll show you what a boil looks like. All right, boiling. A healthy boil. That is what you call it. A boil. rolling boil. Do you want to do any spices or just kind of let it roll? I did have a thought while okay. I was at the gym. Like a lot of the brewery saisons I've been drinking lately are mixed culture saisons. A little sour. I do have that Solera. So what if we do that? We'll, we'll ferment this like normal and then we'll blend them. It, we could do some mixed. blended, some not, and do a little side by side maybe. Yeah. It might yeah. be fun. Yeah. Yeah, cause yeah. I haven't tasted that. I don't even know what it tastes like either. But basically what I've done is I've made a sour beer and then I added ton of different cultures in this thing. Okay. Five. <laughs> so, so this is this, this isn't carbon. This right? is not carbon. Yeah. It's like mega sour. I think it'd be good to blend with uh, the saison. We'll try it out, man. Yeah. Done and done. Woo! Take the enamel off your teeth. Yeah. It's really sour. Mm -hmm. 
We're gonna add our first addition, which is at 30 minutes, and it's an ounce of Fuggles, and the alpha acids are 2.9. We got 10 minutes left in the boil. We're gonna add our Styrian Goldings. I'm gonna go ahead and add a work block tablet as well. <laughs> so while we're waiting for the uh, boil to finish, we got 10 minutes left. I'm gonna go ahead, get the plate chiller, get the hoses hooked up, and then recirculate for a few minutes through the plate chiller with the boiling work to make sure everything is good to go there. Okay. Kettle into the pump, out of the pump, into the chiller, out of the chiller, back into the kettle. You ready? So I just turned the heat off. The word has been recirculating through the plate chiller for about 10 minutes, making sure it's good and sanitized. We haven't used it in a while. Gave it a little extra. Then I'm gonna go ahead and turn the chilling water on. We're gonna chill this down to, I don't know, what do you think, Kyle? High 60s? For a minute around 70? Yeah. What's, what's in the room? Don't worry about it. Blaster? Master. I believe it can do more. Yeah, you better check it out. Ooh, yeah. We are short on liquid. Maybe overboil a bit. You all overboil. I'd say we just roll with it. You're way off. You can add some water. First day back in the saddle, Kyle. Yeah, man. I think we're just gonna do this at room tempo. Keep it around 70 in here this time of year. Okay, number one going in. I'm pretty excited for this beer here. Drink some beers. Drink water like an idiot. Aerado. Aerate it. That's what we call it. A nice seal right there. That's a nice seal. What's the date today? Fifth. Sixth. Sixth? I that's that's been the problem all day, Cal. I lost the day. <laughs> Done. First beer in the new space. Nice. Good job. I'd say like 1049. We'll call that. Call it 1049. I brought in reinforcements. We're gonna go ahead and wrap this video up here. What you should do is check out our Black Friday sale on our website. In the next video, we'll show you how we turned our Cezanne beer into these beautiful bottles. It'll be okay, little buddy. We'll drink you soon. Go ahead.